Greetings, documentary film lovers. My name is Tiffany Howard of Tiffany Howard Films. So people have asked me, where do you get the ideas for your films? I don't know if it's intuition. I don't know if it's my higher self remembering what I've come here to do or just simply the universe. So I give credit to the universe because the ideas come to me and I act on them. So ideas are forms of energy. They're just floating around. And I believe you have to be open to hear the ideas. You have to be open to hear something that you can't explain to other people <laughs> and have the courage <laughs> to say, honestly, the ideas come from the universe. They come from the divine. Okay, that's where the ideas come from. Sometimes I'm, I'm sitting still or in meditation and I just am open and I connect to the cosmos, to the universe, to the divine and I'm listening without listening. I'm just open and I hear the ideas. Do a film, a film about this. Do a documentary about that. And if I don't understand something, I ask to get clarification and I trust the information that I receive and then I act on it. So I listen, I ask, I trust, I act. Or I act and then I trust <laughs> whatever it's going to turn out. So I create all of my documentaries, co-create with the universe. I don't take ownership of these ideas because I know we don't own anything, even the ideas we don't own. They come to me. I'm clear audience, which means I have clear hearing of the divine's voice, the universe's voice. So when I hear the idea, I hear a voice speaking to me. And I write it down all the time. So I keep notebooks. These are my notebooks that I had when I was um, in the film and video production program at Yaffa Pi College. All my classes, and I still use them as my notes. And the universe just gives me ideas. I have, you can't see it, but I have a list of here. Films for 2023, films for 2024, films for 2025, films for 2026. Then I remember something was going on. I, I was out uh, shopping and I heard an idea for another film. So I have ideas for films all the way through 2028 that the divine has given me in dream time, which simply means when I'm asleep and I'm dreaming because that's like the fourth dimension, okay? And they just come in or when I'm in meditation or I'm just sitting outside and I'm being silent and still. Sometimes when I'm out, but I'm present. I hear the idea for a film and I like, oh my God, I pull over sometimes, I write it down um, or text it in my notes, in my phone. And then I come back home, I write it down in my book and I'm like, okay, I have the idea. Thank you. Thank you, universe. Thank you, divine. And I say thank you to who I am to be able to listen, 
to be able to hear these ideas, hear the voice of the universe because I'm in alignment with the heartbeat of all that is one. So I, I get this information and that's how the ideas come to me. Each film, I didn't come up with the idea, you know, we think and you know, how we, how we humans can be so arrogant and this is my idea. <laughs> really? It's really your idea. <laughs> Because there's so many ideas floating around. You've had that experience where you've had an idea come to you and you didn't act on it and someone else did. And and what? And now they have business. They're probably a millionaire or whatever. If that's what they were meant to experience in their lifetime and you're walking around telling other people that was my idea. Nope. Ideas are are floating in the cosmos. And when you hear it, you act on it. So I hear these ideas coming from the universe, the divine. Someone may say it's my intuition. No, I hear the voice, my experience. <laughs> so I know hearing the voice tell me. And I act on it. Not only do I, does the universe give me the idea, the universe is a participant in the entire film. And I will touch on that more as I go through each film and how I co-created the film with the universe. I will tell you simply that the universe not only gives me the idea, the topic of the film, and I have conversations to make sure I understand. I get the title, who I am to um, film about, who's the subject of the film, the camera angles. <laughs> I will show you my production notebooks. So the universe tells me the camera angles sometimes in my dream. Oh my goodness, so amazing. The universe sets up the film with me, the storyboard, and I have to wake up and, and draw it down in my dream journal. So I won't forget it, but I remember it mostly and I just come in and I write it down in my little notebooks and everywhere and then I draw it, my storyboard or type it in, anything that I have, I make sure I get it down, everything. I will even share with you, there were two films where I lost my sight. So, the ideas for the documentaries come to me from the universe, from the divine, if you wanna say, if your word is God, God. <laughs> and as I mentioned, I'm open to hearing, listening. I listen and you have to be still and connected. I ask questions to get clarification. I act and I trust. If you don't act on it, simply goes to someone else. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. So, thank you, universe. I'm grateful to be an expression of the universe and bring these documentaries to you. Part my will, 
but mostly thy will. Peace, love, and film.